Hi Dave, how are you doing? I'm good, Paul. How about you? I'm also good. Let go over there. So, tell me about yourself. Well, I recently graduated from Z University and my area of study was PQR, and during my studies I've worked with several professors on KLM research. This research work got me excited on the APC field and that's why I am looking at positions in this field. Very nice. So, how long you were working at RZ University? I worked for the last four years. First two years I had to take classes, but the final two years I did full-time research work. Can you explain your research work in more details, like what's the purpose of your research and how you approach the problems and what types of tools you used? As I mentioned earlier, I was working on KLM research where I investigated the properties of if with nature of JKL. This revealed that if performs 70% higher accuracy when JKL present, also these findings resulted in a publication. Working on these research allowed me to master an OPC instruments and also, I trained sophomores to measure these properties using OPC tool. That's really nice work you have done. The KLM research field is really exciting field, that's why our company is always looking for talented personals in this field. So, tell me why you are interested in this position? Before I start my research work I didn't have much knowledge about KLM field, but when I started the initial research studies I got excited and realized one day I will choose KLM as my field of work. So, after my studies when I was looking for job opportunities in KLM field, this position grabbed my attention as its requirements resembled with my skills that I have developed during past few years. Also, I noticed this position will allow me to learn more about KLM field and be an expert. Excellent. Yeah. In our company we often use high tools to characterize and develop new technologies in LKM field, that's why we are looking at those specific skill sets. Given that you have much experience about KLM field, I'd like to know what are your achievements while you were working in KLM field? As you said, the KLM field is an emerging field. Thus, even working in the KLM field is considered an achievement. However, during the past two years, I published two papers in peer-reviewed journals and I was able to share my findings at a reputed international conference. Those are the main things I consider as my most significant achievement. It's great that you were able to publish two papers. I assume you have gone through a lot of work to get to that part. So, tell me what obstacle you have faced or what are difficulties you have come around while you are working on this research? That's a great question. Yeah. I have faced some obstacles during my work at Z's university, mainly the time allocations to use the instrument I needed. You know, our research group has six members, and we used the PQR instrument very often and we only had one instrument. So, sometimes it takes weeks to get to my turn. Also, we send our sample to this outside company to analyze since we don't have that facility in our lab, but it takes weeks to get the results back. So. These setbacks caused some difficult times when I was doing my research. Yeah, sometimes, it's really hard to manage the schedule of the tool, because you never know how long it takes to complete your experiments, so you might have to communicate with your lab mates how the experiments go. So, have you ever had any experience with the conflicting situation with anyone in the lab when you are working or communicating? Yeah, there were a couple of incidents in the past we had some conflicts when we were working on some collaborative projects. Once, I remember one of my lab mates disagreed with me over one of the calculations I made in one of our experiments and I tried to explain it to him, but he didn't want to listen to my reasons. Eventually, we came to a common ground and moved forward with it. It's really important to understand different people have their own opinion and they always listen to their perspectives. Yeah, when you are doing research, it's very easy to come to arguments with other researcher because sometimes it's natural to question others' opinions. Anyway, besides the conflicts between your lab mates or other collaborative colleagues, have you ever had any difficulties dealing with administrative personals? I don't have much experience with the administration, but once, I had a hard time getting approval for a flight ticket that I bought for conference travel. Anyway, I communicated with them and found what I needed to do and got everything cleared. That's great to hear you were able to resolve those problems. So, I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. What's your greatest weakness? That's a good question. Usually, when I want to get something done, I focus on that particular task too much and want to get it done as soon as possible. But now I understand when it comes to group projects, I need to allow other members to work on their part as their schedules allow since they might have other priorities. So, 
That was my weakness and I think I have already worked on that. Yeah, even myself wants to get everything done before the end of the day, sometimes. But yeah, you are correct when it comes to group projects. We need to be patient and respect others' schedules. So, tell me about how you prioritize your own workload. Yeah, during my research work, I have worked on multiple projects at the same time. So I understood that project management is really important since I need to run all the projects smoothly to get a positive outcome. But I have allocated most of my time to my main projects as they have hard deadlines, and I allocated a fixed amount of time to focus on my other minor projects. I think this method was very successful, because I was able to complete four projects within the last two years. Yeah, I agree. We need to give high priority to the projects with hard deadlines. Even in our company we have some project with not enough time to complete the projects. So, sometimes we pull our other personals to these projects to get everything as fast as possible. So, I think this was a very nice discussion and I would like to schedule you for another round of interviews with our team members so you can have more details about our company and you can learn more things about this role. And before we do that, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I do have a couple of questions. About DAF DIF AFDX FAS FIA DF AKFAF AFF GAIFI FG. Those are really good questions, so we have TFIAJ FMIJ FTS FWF PUJ FF BAG FIA FBI FLIV. Okay then I will schedule our next meeting soon and will let you know. Thanks for coming today and meeting with me. Yeah, of course. Thanks for inviting me for the interview and for your time to discuss everything with me. I look forward to talking to your team soon. Have a good day. You too, Dave.